Hello and welcome to another video of touring with us. Yes, lovely coffee will be here in just under a few seconds. But firstly, I just want to talk about, of course, my travels on my way to a lovely place in Suffolk. Actually, it's a town in Suffolk called, yes, wait for it. As Stowe I'm already Market. in Suffolk, I have to get my bus route from Havehill to Bowson Evans on a bus number 15, which takes about 50 or 55 minutes, something around about that. And then I have to change at Bowson Evans to get to Stowe Market. And being, of course, it's a sort of difficult scenario these days because I've literally got to go through the barriers and get on the train to get that day ranger because that's actually what it's known as to get an all-day ticket. It's called a day ranger. Hello and welcome to, of course, another video of Tori with us, wherever you are watching. And my name is Lovely Coffee, as per usual, and it is the 7th of June 2022 here on a Tuesday. And I've just literally arrived at 52 minutes past 10 a.m. in the morning and just awaiting for the Ipswich train, which will take me to the next Stowe Market. Train platform 1 is the 1059 Greater Anglia service. To Cambridge. That's Calling not the one I want. Markets, <laughs> Dunningham and Cambridge. This train is formed of four coaches. Platform one for the 1059 Greater Anglia service to Cambridge. That's on that side, by the way. But platform one for the 1059 Greater Anglia here. service to Cambridge. So of course. Platform one for the 1059 I still can't get it right, Greater can I? Anglia service to Cambridge. So this is Beres and Evans train station awaiting for the Ipswich train to Stowe Market. This train should be on its way in a minute and that will be on its way about ooh, less than four minutes time you can see on the clock there. Good thing it's got a clock there, it's very helpful to have that. And it's got these seconds rolling by as you can see. You can see that. The next train at platform 2 is the 1101 Greater Anglia service to Ipswich. Calling at Stowe Market and Ipswich. This train is formed of four coaches. Platform 2 for the 1101 Greater Anglia service to Ipswich. So that's the announcement. That's the announcement for, of course, um, the Ipswich train, but final announcement on that one. Just to remind people in case they miss the train. So it'll be calling just that stone market, which is a quick route, and it'll go into that direction over there. Switch one has arrived quite early actually. Nice to be early though. Let's go inside. Well, as this train arrived early, this one on the other side on its way to Cambridge left us. You can see it's gone now, but of course, we're waiting for this train to leave and it should be going straight to Stone Market, which is very convenient, I have to say. It's just leaving now. Well, 
Welcome to this service for Ipswich. We will be calling at Stone Market and Ipswich. Tesco's is just there. Next stop will be Stone Market. Tesco's behind the trees there. Hello. Um. So that was the ticket man, of course, he's going up and down the train at the moment. We won't get on the train for three these days, as you know. So, yeah, I'm still on my way to Stone Market, and that's the next destination, by the way. Much quicker if you just get Stone Market on the list as it's on its way to Ipswich. But, yeah, just finishing off my coffee here, which was worth a pound at the train station there, along with the burger, which was with onions cheese and a burger obviously and a nice bun to go with it and of course a mixture of ketchup and burger sauce love it especially at that burger store probably about 350 for the burger not bad not bad price considering other places like restaurants can be a little bit more like 695 for example sake but yeah um, very very nice burger I have to say I always like to get a burger on on my way to this destination wherever I'm going, whether it's it for or Stone Market. Hopefully I'll end up in Needham Market, which is on its way to Ipswich, um, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. Just got to make the most of this weather. That's why I said to the ticket man, and he was quite pleased about that, because actually it's not familiar with gorgeous days like this. <laughs> but I am. <laughs> but uh, it makes me smile. So, happy days. Thankfully, the uh, train is on time, and no problem so far, touch wood. Lovely countryside, it really is beautiful. I wonder where that trap leads, is that the Norwich one? I don't know, I presume that is. Make the most of this beautiful weather here. So we should be pulling into Stone Market very really soon. Around about that time, expected 11 to 16, they've changed it now. It is the service to Richards, but it is calling out a Stone Market. I like all that on the train, that's quite nice. Something to note when actually coming off the train of Stone Market train station is that you have to go up the stairs across the bridge to the other side. We are now approaching Stone Market. There you go. So something to bear in mind and there's no lift just to that anyone knows, so it's not very good for wheelchair accessible. But I'm going to take you up there. Well, let's hope I'm fit enough, of course, more so than the 40 stairs going up towards the loft of this Edgeway Cathedral. If you remember that video where I actually went up the 40 steps of St. Edgeway Cathedral. I showed a little bit on the stairs, but obviously I did film as I went up there. <laughs> it would be too strenuous to do that. It would be very difficult to film that. Somebody has, but they've done it really on the fast mode. So we're just coming into Stone Market now. Stone Market's the next destination. So I've just arrived here at uh, Stone Market train station. This train is about to lead to Ipswich now, as you can see by the sound of the bleeps, if you like. But I'm now going to show you the route from this platform to the other side. It will require a lot of fitness. So 
that train is off to it's it's going quite fast here. So this is platform number one here at Stone Market. It's quite confusing because Beres and Evans over in that direction is platform number two. So rather than confuse you, this is platform number one on the other side. Well, there's a joke out there about a cheetah pulling a fast one. I don't know if anyone gets that, but anyway, that's the joke of the day. So basically we've got to come this way across the bridge and come this way and of course come over to the other side very safely as well and do take extra care when walking down these stairs especially in winter weather times of course you can gather of course the stairs can be slippery when wet please take care they warn you on that particular note because there's no lifts as i said earlier lovely view from the top and of the other side as well. The next train at platform one is the 1129 Greater Anglia service to London Liverpool Street. Calling at Ipswich, Manningtree, Colchester, Chelmsford, Stratford and London Liverpool Street. This train is formed of 12 coaches. Platform 1 for the 11.29 Greater Anglia service to London Liverpool Street. So this is platform 1, just to prove that point. Platform 2 is here. Having arrived here at this point of Stowmarket train station, I'm about to head into the town. So this is the main car park which you can see literally behind me, I'll let you in full. And uh, of course the car park is just here, by the way, for anyone that needs to use the car park. It is a paying display, as you can see. The prices probably are displayed here. that's the sign of a train station here not sure why the sign is there but it represents this one which is the main train station there that's useful to know at this train station is stone market taxis which the number is to ring there if you need it just for example sake we did go to Bez and Evans from here costing us around about 30 quid the more people go in the taxi it's going to be a lot cheaper obviously but of course that's the number to ring if you do need a taxi from here for any emergency reasons like the train has been cancelled or something like that let's hope it doesn't ever come to that case but you never know when you need a taxi so of course yeah that's quite useful to know isn't it so what we'll do is we'll walk up towards the other part of the town now even a map here to actually tell you where you are good question where are we at this point here I'm sure this used to be a pub many years ago but it's turned into a takeaway it seems platform 8 <laughs> a few guesses of why it's called that next to a train station but uh, let me know in the comments if that is actually true that it's changed from a pub into a takeaway system as we head up towards the town in that direction now this is one route that i particularly would take going into the stone market high street which we will see in a minute so don't worry about that it will come to us delicious local food served daily monday to saturday 12 till 3 p.m. 6 till 9 p.m. Sunday 12 till 6. Book online at mill.restaurant or call 01449 
674 It's a restaurant and bar and it, it's called The Mill as I was just saying there. And it's this place here, which you'll see now. So that's called The Mill there, M-I-L-L. -L. Obviously you'll buy mills, as in food mills, not the M-I-L-L, -L, but it's actually called Mill Restaurant and Bar. But this actually is useful to know when coming to this area and any other restaurant because you need to know what the prices are before you go in and what I see here battered haddock is the only fish that I can see on here unless I see another fish here £13.50 you'd expect to pay but some prices in Cambridge are getting on to £20 a meal now and that's the starters here you can actually buy creamy garlic mushrooms sounds tasty £6.50 50 just for that wow posh prices I have to say and if you fancy dessert those are the prices for that so have a look at that definitely worth it just for that even snapshot picture of that if you will so you can take a picture if you like or screenshot it the signs to Sudbury and Great Finborough. I don't think I've heard of that place, but of course Barrison Evans is on the right hand side. There's always something new I spot about places each time I come here. And also it's rich to the left here on the A1308. Needham Market on the B313. Comms Ford as well. And Barrison Evans on the A1308, A14 in that direction. And you've got A14 that direction and you've got A14 the other direction on the right hand side so I believe events like disco events do take place here I'm sure I saw a sign saying that of course some disco events were here maybe in the courtyard but obviously you can see it's got an outside courtyard there like a, a garden or some kind but there you go quite useful to know and probably they have sports here as well always wondered where this route actually heads to it kind of like reminds me of Bishop Stortford in a way the bridge that you go across and this bridge is next to a train station just like Bishop Stortford and it's past a river by the name of River Gipping and you've got an information board here I haven't got time to read you all of it today but you can actually see for yourself if you want a snapshot that picture and all the pictures to go with it you've got the maltings the gipping valley river path the maltings are just here by the way so i haven't got time to read you all of it today but maybe another time i will but you can see the river runs through here as it flows through the tranquility is it tranquility of the river that flows let's head up into um, this direction you can see it can get very busy traffic here so you have to take extra care walking up here and press the uh, buttons here so you can get across isn't it pretty to have two guitars of one person just like that life is better when you go all in <laughs> I think I timed that well crossing over here just about this is Gipping Way here and I'm about to turn left Were you getting a bit comfy there? A bit like watching a cinema screen without the words, if you know what I mean. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this first part of the travels towards Stone Market, a lovely place in the 
county of Suffolk. If you want to see the high street version, as I did actually mention on the video, I'm sure it is somewhere along the line, please do go over to that video after you have watched this. Absolutely brilliant, and that's where it continues. And if you haven't already subscribed to Touring With Us, make sure you do. Tell your friends and whoever. Well, from this video, I'm gonna have to say ta-ta.